Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some awesome purple post to share with you today. Um, this one is actually for Megan, but she knows the rules. I'm allowed to unbox first. <laughs> so this one will be going into Megan's stash, but this is from Diamond Art Studio UK. Um, one of their amazing pieces from their platinum collection, this one. Megan has no idea how she missed this one uh, because this is well and truly up her alley, should we say. And yeah, she doesn't know how she managed to miss that it was there, uh, but she's very excited that she has now found it. Uh, this one is Stormy Castle. She saw this, I think somebody posted a picture on one of the groups of them either working their way through it or having completed it. Um, and yeah, she was very, very excited. So this has 26 different colours. It does come with a sticker sheet. It's a 50 by 70. This version is a square, but you can get it in square or round. Um, Megan loves a square painting. And I think it's gonna be a competition between this one and the school one as to which ends up on her list first. I I think the skull might win because she was extremely excited for the skull. But this has a nice lot of purple in it. Um, you may not necessarily think um, that it is a purple kind of picture, but it is. <laughs> it is. It is a Diamond Art Studio kind of purple. Uh, there's quite a lot of purple and blue across the top in the skyline and then look at that amazing detail and there's quite a bit of the purple uh, the letter H550 that actually comes in to make up this sort of stonework it's got a really nice amount of confetti does have some 310 in these darker places here uh, that definitely look better once the diamonds are on um, it's often the way the 310 symbol works because it often tends to be a, a bigger symbol. So in this case, it's an arrow. Let's see if I can show you what I mean properly. Um, so the black is an arrow symbol, which means it has quite a lot of white on what is going to be just black. So when you look at it from a distance, it does have a different kind of look to it. Um, that can, that can look a bit different on the rendering compared to what it looks like once the diamonds are placed down. But I just love the detail that you get in this to make it look like all the brickwork. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and I say, this is completely a Megan kind of picture. Even with all this block work at the top, she's pretty good with multi-places. She will be on her little way. Uh, and I love this sort of lighting, which is a bit like a fire, can you see, that is lit up in this window. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous image. And you've even got that sort of bit of mist at the bottom. Uh, that's come through on the rendering too. And to look at the diamonds, see look, all that 550. Oh no, some of it's 327. It's half and half. They're very similar colours actually. If you look again, I don't know if, if I look again, because I got it wrong. We've got three 550 and three of the 327, I think. But yeah, there's quite a lot of purple in this one, which will make a nice change. The one she's working on at the moment has a lot of 939 as the dark color and a lot of black. She's still working uh, on a king's path. But we have three bags of 327, three bags of 550 and 
just two bags of 310 and they weigh less as well. Uh, they're only 16.1 grams those. Uh, we also have a couple of bags of 154, which is another sort of deep purple. A uh, couple of bags of 3860, which is your brownie colours. A couple of 779. And then we get into all your other colours that make it up, which I'm going to see if I can get these back in, in in some sort of fashion. They never sit the same way for me again. Which is why sometimes I just hold, hold them up. But then we have your other colours that come into it. Some of your lighter colours, of course, some of your deeper reds that come in around up here. Um, 3830. Yeah, that is 3830. So there's just a little bit here. There is the odd diamond scattering to bring in some of the lighter shading in a couple of other places, but it's nowhere near as prominent as it is here. Um, and then we have some of your lighter lighter colours that, as I say, once they're mixed in and dotted about, it can help to brighten up some of these areas. But it is, is a very dark painting um, in general, which, as I say, is right up Megan's street <laughs> and is what she loves to do. And then you do have, of course, this lighter section up here, which really helps to highlight the top of this. But this is what amazes me. And if you actually look at the symbols and the colour of the symbols, you will see that that has quite a lot of purple in it. Purple and beigey colours are mixed in there. And that's what gives you the look. It actually looks like it's... 3D corner um, rather than looking of course 2D which is what it is but yeah this one is called Stormy Cathedral did I say Stormy Castle uh, apologies if I did I can't remember which I said now but this is Stormy Cathedral uh, by Diamond Art Studio it's one of their platinum collection it's a 50 by 70 so not too big not too small and the rendering on this one is beautiful so if you like um if you like your darker paintings though don't get me wrong i do this as much as i love bright paintings as well um then yeah this this is the one for you this is going to go into megan's little stash list uh, but how excited she got when she saw this one I don't think I think it will be higher up on her list than some of her others um, and there's a couple that we have that are, that are between the two of us um, so maybe it'll give me more chance to get those done time will tell uh, but if you like your purples if you like your purple post then you can get your purples and your purple post all in one uh, with these gorgeous colours that say are mixed throughout it's amazing how much something that can look a little bit more black and white this looks a little bit more sepia uh, but it's amazing how much purple that actually ends up being uh, that will get you this look of the castle walls so yeah that is stormy castle from diamond art studio i will pop a link down below to this painting in case you do want one for yourself don't forget there is a cheeky little discount code down there for you as well um, just to help help you buy more than one that's the excuse you can use uh, pop in the discount code and pop a second painting in while you're there because be rude not to but anyway thank you all so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon